heritage, our tradition, our future. Rise. Today, we become. In this episode of Premier Interschools, we look ahead to this Saturday's big Wollan derby between two giants of schools rugby, Polrus Gymnasium and Paul Boys High, live on Supersport. match of the 2018 Premier Interschool season is a massive encounter between two of the strongest schools in the Boerland, Polrus Gymnasium and Paul Boys High. Founded in 1866, Polrus Gymnasium was originally known as Stellenbosch Boys High, then Victoria College, and in 1941 it was renamed in honour of the legendary Springbok captain Polrus, who was a pupil, schoolmaster and rector at the school. We've been very competitive over the last few years. It's very important for us that the values we instill in the classroom we transcend that to the playing field. But we're obviously very proud of, of the calibre rugby players we've produced over the last couple of years. So who was Paul Roos? And why did he become such a legend in the early days of rugby? In 1906, it was decided to send a South African rugby team on the first overseas tour to the British Isles. The backdrop to this event was the recent conflict of the two Anglo-Boer Wars between 1880 and 1902. The British had expected an easy victory, but the Boers, with only 27,000 men in their commandos, waged a war of attrition against the 500,000 British forces winning several victories and embarrassing the British government. Realizing the commanders were replenishing their supplies from the farms scattered around the country, the British implemented a scorched earth policy, torching farms and slaughtering the wild stock. The displaced women and children were herded into concentration camps, where thousands died from malnutrition or disease. The British eventually won, but after heavy loss of life on both sides. It was in this climate of simmering conflict between English and Afrikaans South Africans that rugby, and especially rugby under the leadership of Paul Roos, played a key role in reuniting South Africans. When the team was selected, the players unanimously elected Paul Roos as their captain. The vice-captain was an English South African and Bishop's old boy, Paddy Carolyn. Paul Roos's famous quote to his team on being given the captaincy was this, I would like to make absolutely clear at the outset, we are not English speaking or Afrikaans speaking, but a band of happy South Africans. The team had an intense schedule of 29 fixtures against county and university teams, including five test matches against Scotland, Ireland, Wales, England and France. Of the 29 games played, the Springboks won 26 with one draw and two losses. The tour was extremely successful, earning respect from the Northern Hemisphere teams and placing South Africa at the top of the world rankings at the time. Paul Riss returned to continue teaching at the school and became rector in 1910. A year after his retirement in 1940, the school was renamed in his honour. With a legacy like this, it's no wonder Paul Roos has contributed the most Springboks of any other school and remains a formidable opponent in schools rugby. Paul Roos, Paul Roos is, is amazing. Uh, it's, it's difficult to describe, it's difficult to put into words. But I think the one song we know on the field and the, the old school starts singing Old Boys Behind You and on the opposite side of the field the old boys join in you'll get goosebumps at any given moment in the game. As jy op die veld is, baie raak is vullers alweer, as jy op die veld is, jy hoor nie altyd alles nie, so gefokus op die game, alles, alle klank van buiten word soort van stil gemaakt, maar as 
Alle old boys als poros, old boys van poros zijn. Je, je kan het niet, het is onmogelijk om het niet te horen. En als je het hoort, jij, dat vat je net tot op een nieuwe vlak. Some of the more recent Springboks are Andries Becker, Scott Brits, Francois Hochart, Willy LaRue and Stephen Kitsoff. Reference has been made in previous episodes to other famous Polrus alumni, including Prime Minister Jan Smuts, Richmond's Johan Rupert, Mediclinic founder Edwin Herzog, Capitex Rian Stassen, poet and playwright Ace Kricher, and investigative journalist Peter Louis Mayberg. From their last 10 games, the 2018 team has been unbeaten, with impressive wins over strong rivals like Paddle Gymnasium and Grey High. Our record against Boys High the last few years, they've managed to beat us um, three times in a row. So this year we hope uh, that we can manage to tip the scale into our favour um, at Makoto. Now it's always important to get a win on Markotter and especially get, that we're playing against Boys Eye, it would, it would be really special to get to get a win against Boys Eye on Markotter for, for the school since the whole school is going to be there. Boys Eye is a the game in the season. Um, it's the same school for the parents, the same school for the Salambos. It's always great, it's always hard. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a great strike for our side. So. The Boys Eye game in the season, it's, it's arguably the most anticipated game in our school, um, so we, we're looking forward to it, but we still still need to approach it just just as another big game of the season. Yeah, it's always great playing uh, at Makota. Um, I feel that uh, it's so, um, so much historic value, um, it always means a lot to play at Makota, and the, 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 the supporters never disappoint, they always come out in numbers, so that's always an extra boost for the home team. Looking at the two schools' encounters over the last eight years, Paul Boys has won six of those matches. However, it would be presumptuous to call them favourites this year, with Polrus looking stronger than ever. By all accounts, this promises to be one of the most thrilling schools' derbies of the season between two giants of the game. The visitors making the journey from Paul to Stellenbosch are Paul Boys High. Paul Roos is always very, very strong. They do always have a plan very good. Always very good on the pavilion. So it is not the first place to come to the rugby team. It is Paul Roos and Paul Roos and Boys High. And you have two great groups in the pavilion that now can sing and that they want to sing. So it is always very difficult. But Paul Roos is very difficult to play for a year, I think. For all the other side, for all the other side, but quite. Uh, in Stellenbosch, so I think the only span that for year for Paul Roos will start with Mark Porter, so he will know that he will have a good plan, and he will be successful in Founded in 1868, Paul Boys High has developed into one of South Africa's foremost schools with almost 900 learners. And I remember last year was quite a tough game, like every game was, and this year we're not expecting it to be any different. It's a very physical team, they always come with their guns blazing and they're always a very hard team to beat. Looking forward to, a lot, to it a lot and it's going to be a lot of hard work to beat them. Yeah, I'm very looking forward very much to the match. It's a good physical match, it's at their home so it will be physical. Famous old boys include writers Eugene Marais and Karl Skuman, current English cricketer David Milan, businessman Christo Visser, media mogul Antoni Roo and Snapscan co-founder Kobus Yellers. The list of Boys High Springboks include legends Bunny Kisru and Karl Duplessis, and more recently, Corne Kricher, Franz Malherbe, and Gertro Steenkamp. Uh, rugby at Boys High is a, is a massive deal. I mean, it's where you get uh, um, uh, measured in, 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 the, in your uh, abilities, and uh, we take it very personal. I mean, very, very proud school, so every game we play, we want to be the best. We want to uh, 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 rise above the rest, so it's a very massive deal in, in Paul Boys High. The Boys High team has come under intense pressure to keep their three-year unbeaten streak going. But some tough opponents in 2018 managed to turn the tables, notably a well-oiled Argentine under-19 team, the Jaguares, and Gray College, avenging their defeat to Boys High last year. However, 
The boys' high team remain a formidable opponent. The teams will underrate at their peril. You know, Paul Roos is a tough, tough side. They, they play a really good, innovative running type of rugby brand. Um, and yeah, so that's always, always what's, what's fond and what's memorable about the game against Paul Roos, that the game and the intensity is quite high and the tempo is very quick. Last year, it was a tight game in the first half, but Paul Boy's strong comeback in the second half with 12 unanswered points eventually sealed the victory. It was our home game at Brook Street, so it's always uh, uh, um, a wonderful opportunity to show our supporters what we can do. And uh, the game was much closer than the, the scoreline suggests. Uh, up to half time, the scoreline was very, very close. And in the second half, our, our players uh, took advantage of the opportunities that came their way. They're enjoying these conditions, the opportunity to use that big pack of forwards of theirs. And they've carried it now around about 15 meters. Don't have an answer to this. It's a massive onslaught. Use it once. Well, I've been asked to use it once, so Maybach waits for it. And decides to go himself. The little man has got his second try. This year, Paul Riss will be wanting to exploit home ground advantage and turn the tables on their old opponents at the Marcotta field. I'm obviously very proud and if I can be there I will be there and I'll definitely be watching um, in my opinion it's simple I think they must go out and enjoy every moment you know embrace the opportunity embrace the day make the most of it um, they must just go out and enjoy themselves express themselves and be brave you know I think that's what supporters come out to, to, to see is, is, is rugby players that are brave um, to back themselves with the, with the potential they have Today we stand for all that is for our heritage, our tradition, our future. Rise. Today, we become Legends. Watch Paul Roos Gymnasium versus Paul Boys High in Premier Interschools Rugby this Saturday, live on Supersport.